What is up, Wolverine Nation? If you thought the heater was done from the weekend, you were mistaken because it is just going to keep going. We are back with another commitment, a nice addition to the class. We got our ex-wide receiver, Jacob Washington. Let's take a look at him. Um, this player here is somebody that I've been really excited about getting in the class because we obviously lost out on another target in Quincy Porter. And I told you guys about a week or two ago, the player to look out for was Jacob Washington, 6'3", wide receiver out of Archibald Shaw High School out of Louisiana. Same high school as fellow Michigan Wolverine Jasper Parker, bro. So there obviously is some familiarity. And uh, as we can look in the composite, he is a 247 composite, four-star wide receiver, number 320 overall in the nation. And guys, another good addition to the class. Okay, this class, as we've discussed over the past weeks, if you've been watching our shows and our weekly Tuesdays, our call in shows on Thursday, I have told you the class is going to be growing. Look out. And the word that I've gotten, and this is a Jacob Washington video, so we will stick to that topic. But I will just let you guys know from now until the barbecue, get your popcorn ready because it ain't even, we're not even close to done. The, 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 it's, it's coming, boys. It's, it's There's so much to come. We're going to have a bunch of that on the Tuesday show. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at TJ underscore Ronan. Uh, get at me there. But let's get back to our boy of the, uh, our topic of the day right now. And uh, let's take a look at his huddle tape. So I uh, I personally am a fan of this kid's game. I, I think he offers a lot to the program. And he is exactly what you're looking for in that big body wide receiver. Let's take a look. 6'3", 180, runs a 4'4". Let's see what he can do on the field. Let's get it. Obviously, he's taking the top off the defense right there. I mean, it's an easy play for him, but I mean, like, all kids can't do it. Let's see what else he has for us. I like his get off. Let's see. I mean, that, that's the thing. Like, he's just burning his, his guy right now, right? So it's not even, it's not even like, you know, he's making it look easy. And, and that's what you want to see, obviously. I mean, that's a good, that's a good take. But uh, what I like to see is you see him, he's gauging, he's gauging his pace, he's gauging his field. And when he's ready to make his cut in his route, you're seeing him do it. He's obviously not the most precise route runner because he's a, a junior in high school. But you can see the potential and just look at his frame, right? You know, right now we're in the we're in a red zone area right now. Let's see uh, how does he come up with it. What's the play? Jump ball, high points the ball. Well done. Yeah, I mean, this is the exact. This is the this is like this is the type of the archetype of receiver that Michigan has had challenges getting into the fold at Michigan, and we now have our guy here. And this wide receiver recruiting class, by the way, the way things are shaping up is going to be possibly the best wide receiver class. I said possibly. I'm not, although I'm going to say highly likely. The best wide receiver class we have had since the Donovan Peoples Jones, Nico Collins, and uh, Tariq Black, and Oliver Martin, for those who remember, uh, recruiting class. Now, granted, I will say that recruiting class was on a extremely elite level, but this is going to be the next best recruiting class since then. And just look, I mean, look at his ability, though to make those cuts and gain separation. You know, you, like the kid has, in my opinion, a high a high football IQ. Look at his start and stop ability. To, and the way he uh, he's able to accelerate out of his breaks too, especially on that last comeback route. Uh, just a, a, a very high-level player, guys. And I think what we have here, and he also him, him finding his spacing within the field. Like you can tell he's like he's gauging his route. He knows He knows where he needs to be. And he's just a high-level player. And I, I love his ability to get out of his breaks and quick acceleration. And his head's already – he's already ready for the pass, right? You're not, you're not looking at a guy who's coming out of his breaks and his head's down. Like, he's, he's, he's obviously high-pointing the ball. He's a hands catcher, too. Like, let's, 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 like, stress that, right? So, a lot of wide receivers – not a lot, but there are kids in high school ranks where they're body catchers. And in my opinion, and it's also widely agreed upon that, that's not the best, obviously, fundamental way to catch the ball. There are players in the NFL who can do it, like a Jamison Williams, for example. But there are other wide receivers. Or it, it's strongly uh, encouraged to be a, a hands-catching wide receiver, and he is. He's high-pointing the ball. He's he's not making – he's making all these catches look easy and also gaining separation on his DB he's going against. Uh, he, he obviously has the ability to uh, take off the top, uh, he has, he's got the quick acceleration. He's got the quick cuts. Um, we, we have a high level player here. I mean, is he, is he on the level of, um, 
I don't know, some of the, you know, the higher ranked X's. No, but he's still one of the top X type wide receivers in the nation. And he's going to be a great addition to the class. I think what we're looking at here, though, is a guy that will take about two to three years, uh, build up his body. And then we will finally see him uh, have an impact on the field. Um, I think this is the type of receiver that you will see playing with a Carter Smith or a Brady Hart in the future and making plays for us in the winged helmet and beating OSU. And hopefully OSU is getting the message that Michigan learned how to recruit because they did, in fact, learn how to play some NIL, boys. So, all right, let's move on to um, – Let's get let's let's take a look at the class now, and look at where we are. And wh wouldn't you know, Michigan's ranked in the top twenty, boys. Now it doesn't say it here, so let's go back because two four seven likes to play like that. And there we are, seventeenth in the nation. And I have some good news. We're getting another one today, so you will be seeing me later today doing a video on. I wouldn't name that player nameless, although it's public when the announcement's going to be. So if you guys are paying attention to it, you will know. But uh, we will be doing another video today, another player I'm high on. Um, it's not – it is a player I have a lock for. Um, I did not have a lock for Jacob Washington. I was going to put my lock in this Tuesday, but he decided to commit early, which is cool. So no problem there. My next lock will be uh, – player who will be nameless because I'll let him obviously do his announcement. I don't want to ruin anything for anybody. And um, and then we'll go from there. We'll have another video later today, but let's take a look at the class. As a whole right now. So here we are. All, it's updated now. So 17th overall in the composite. It's only going up. I'm going to let you guys know it's looking like a top 10 class, boys. Get excited. Get ready. It's looking like a top 10 class. There has been news over the weekend that is crazy encouraging. I have some picks that I'm, I'm going to have some more locks I'm going to be putting in on the Tuesday show. One of them is not put in by anybody. I'm trying to not put any locks in after anybody. I'm trying to get it to you guys quicker, but also I'm not going to force anything that's not there. But I do have a lock for the Tuesday show that uh, should make a lot of people pretty happy, and I feel really good about it. So let's take a look at where we are now. Where is the class? Let's put the composite on. You know how we do it. So we got... Obviously, we got our cornerstone players doing their damn thing. We added Donovan Johnson yesterday. We got Jacob Washington today. And the class looks strong. And for anyone concerned about Bobby King, he reconfirmed his commitment and said he is locked into Michigan. And that is great news for Michigan's defensive line because there is some serious, serious smoke about an addition to that defensive line, which I will be talking about on Tuesday. And then just look at it. I mean, this is a very strong class, guys. Michigan is building this class. I said on Tuesday show, this class was shaping up to be a top 12 class. Um, I might've been a little uh, conservative. We are, it's starting to look like a top 10 class. So I'm going to hold, I'm going to hold and say it will definitely be in the top 12. And this thing has potential to be top 10. No question, especially with the smoke late last night, early into today. There's some big things happening with the Michigan Wolverines. Now let's pull up the, the depth chart that I like to do to give everyone a visual of what is our recruiting class looking like. And it's looking beautiful is what it's looking like. Look at this. Nine blue chip players, two three stars, and we obviously know Cadence uh, Strayhorn is one of the best center prospects in the nation. By the way, I got some flack saying he could play guard too. Why don't you go look at his Twitter profile, bro? He even claims himself to be a center. and. Michigan is putting him at center. That's the slot. Don't get mad at me. It's not an opinion. I'm just stating what I know, but we'll keep it moving. Jasper Parker, underrated. This is a nice running back core, and as you guys know, there's some smoke right now with uh, with Davison. Uh, and I'm going to be honest. I'm, I, I have gotten word that that smoke has some validity, but we'll see where it goes. I'm not locking that one in. I'll just let you guys know. Not yet. But here we are with the class, and it is getting stronger by the day. We are at 11. So we are about 45% full, maybe, maybe 40% full. We'll see what they do with the class, but it's looking beautiful. It is looking strong. And the most beautiful thing about this is there's so much more coming. I'm going to, I wanted to stress this on the Tuesday show, but I will bring it up here from yesterday all the way to barbecue at the big house, which will be at the end of July. Just get ready guys. Cause there's a lot planned. There are, there are a lot of kids who are ready to jump into this class. And there are some big names who are going to jump in this class. But uh, it's looking good, guys. It's looking really good right now. So let's hope Michigan can keep it up. 
Uh, Ron Bellamy, salute, bro. You've gotten a lot of flack by a lot of people, and uh, you are showing out. And if this class turns out how it's supposed to or is potentially uh, progressing to, uh, you deserve a lot of handwritten notes and a lot of flowers by a lot of people because if we can land Andrew Marsh, if we can land Taz Williams, if we can get Philip Wright, which all those are looking good, Taz Williams is the one that I'm a little um, – less confident on simply because of class uh, wide receiver class size. Um, I, I do feel good about uh, the others and I will get into more of that again on the Tuesday show. So I am out. This is Jacob Washington's recruitment. Welcome to the Wolverine nation, go blue. And you can find me at TJ underscore Ronan and shout out to everybody who's been following me this weekend. It's been pretty crazy. Um, I've gotten, we've been having a lot of feedback. It's been good, good dialogue. And I'm just going to keep throwing the damn nuggets of gems out there, guys. Like as long as I get it, I'll put it out there. Obviously I'm going to save things for the show on Tuesday. Cause we got, uh, there's actually a lot that's going to be there, but I appreciate everyone following, commenting in the comments, giving me feedback. Um, it's been really enjoyable these last few days, just building the community. And that's the goal here. Michigan football at the voice of college football. We are going to build this channel. We are going to build this community and this network. And uh, it's going to be us and you guys. So we appreciate it. Please like, please subscribe. And I will see you on the next video later today. Count on it. Go blue.